Nelly claims that his musical era was the toughest period in hip-hop history. Nelly is talking candidly about his musical career and how difficult the competition was during his time. He also took the opportunity to discuss the Grammy Awards rejection of him. While appearing in the shop's seventh season premiere, the rapper discussed his disappointment at not receiving a Grammy nomination for Best New Artist in a promo video that was uploaded to their Instagram. Country Grammar had 5 million votes, but I wasn't even considered for a nomination as a Best New Artist in 2001 because my CD wasn't released until 2000. The incredibly gifted and deserved Alicia Keys prevailed. In 2001, she ought to have triumphed. He went on, you have to realize that my musical era was the hardest hip-hop age ever. I had to compete with artists like DMX, Jay-Z, Eminem, Lil Wayne, 50 Cent, and Ludacris when I release tracks. We are all vying for the same slot. Thus, the years 1999 to 2008 and 2010 were the hardest ever, he claimed. Nelly's career started in 1993 when he and his friends started the hip-hop group Synth. Lunatics, the group's popular tune Midwest Swing was taken from their 2001 debut album, Free City. However, Nelly's solo endeavors were what really made him a household name. Nelly's first solo album, Country Grammar, was a huge hit when it was released in 2000. The album produced multiple hit singles, including the title tune and Ride With Me, and went on to sell over 8 million copies in the US alone. Nelly swiftly rose to prominence in the genre because to his distinctive fusion of pop sensibilities and hip-hop, which let him stand out in the crowded music business. Nelly released even more hit albums after country grammar became popular, such as Nellyville in 2002 and Sweat and Suit in 2004. Hits including Hot and Hair, Dilemma, and Over and Over were released from these albums. Nelly was able to establish himself as a music icon and attract a large audience because to his crossover appeal. Apart from his musical career, Nelly has achieved success in various other endeavors. He has starred in multiple motion pictures, such as The Longest Yard and Reach Me, and he hosted the reality TV series Nellyville. Nelly has also engaged in charitable endeavors, such as his involvement with the Four Schaffer Kids Foundation and the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Despite encountering legal issues in the past, including as an arrest for narcotics offenses in 2015, Nelly has persisted in producing music and entertaining his fan base. Since the release of his most recent album, Heartland, in 2021, he has been traveling the globe and doing live performances. Nelly has had great success and a long career. He has been a well-known personality in the music business for more than 20 years.